What do you say, Tom? How are you it's doing? It's so good to see you, man. So, we're here with Craig and Parker Beam, the master distillers for Evan Williams, the single barrel. This is uh, another great vintage, y'all. This is great. Well, uh, we think that that'll go within the collection real well. Uh, the quality standards and the profile that we've established over the years, this will fit the, the profile perfectly. This will be one of the standouts we've had for the last 15 years, we feel like. We were both a little surprised as we tasted this barrel. The, the quality that came through, we were very, very surprised. What surprised you? Well, the taste and the aroma and the whole whole product itself that came out of that barrel. And what aromas, what taste do you get in this? What do you get? Oh, I get uh, a good creamy taste, smooth, yeah, yeah honey, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, it was excellent, really. Far beyond what I thought it would be. And it's a brand new, uh, brand new bottle, brand new packaging. This is the 2000 vintage. If you notice, they they downsize this so you can see more of the content. Uh, the other label wrapped around more, and it made the content in the bottle a little hard to see. And we're, we're also, not only is this a celebration of the single barrel 2000 vintage, it's also a celebration of you having 50 years in the business, right? How sort of unbelievable that, you know, uh, that you accumulate 50 years that fast. Uh, and what I think is unique about it is being master distiller for the, and for the uh, almost the 50 years I started in my father I started under my father and followed in his footsteps but also I've, I've been able to work under the same ownership which no other master distiller in the industry can say that because they've changed ownerships in that period of time. And, and, every, and now your son is, is following your footsteps, right? What's that like to follow your father's footsteps? Well, there's always a certain amount of pressure on you to, to try <laughs> to hold up the torch, you know, and try to keep the same uh, same profile and do the same thing that uh, your dad did and try to keep everything consistent. So, yeah, there's a certain amount of pressure on you. Now, every year this bourbon has tasted a little bit different. We've read some of the tasting profiles on different years. What makes a bourbon, just a bourbon in general, taste different from year to year? Well, that, that's a unique thing about uh, single barrels. Even, even if you bottle another barrel of our Evan Williams single barrel, it's going to be uh, slightly different. We, we, we all know that every barrel that's the unique part of a single barrel is going to be somewhat different. So the year and the climate has something to do with that. Uh, over the 10 year period that this bourbon ages, you get a lot of climate changes and you get maybe a series of three years that are really hot summer months and maybe it's reversed on the next vintage that you select. Maybe that you had a colder winter. So all that has a tendency to change the taste of, of each single barrel. And when it comes to bourbon in general, whether you're with the Elijah Craig or the Evan Williams, what makes bourbon taste different from bourbon to bourbon? What is that that does that? Why does one bourbon taste different from another? Well, it just be the different different ages and the different proofs. Of course, aged that in the warehouse as well. When you talk about our bourbons, that's what we were we're referring to now. Everything's made to the same mash bill and the same quality standards. 
as I tell everybody, you never know where it's going to wind up, so you can't jeopardize that quality from day to day, so everything has to meet the same quality standards day in, day out. That's something you strive for. Uh, over the years, that, that's part of the perfection, and that, that's what you try to achieve is consistency being the master distiller. And we're tasting this tonight, the unveiling of the single barrel 2000 vintage right from the barrel. This was right from the barrel. That's, that's really good. Yeah. I like, it's tasty. That's one of the things I like about our bourbons. Uh, they maintain the somewhat of the same profiles year after year, and they also have that good, clean finish on the palate. That, that finish just kind of lingers no matter what proofs you taste those at. Well, this is, this is my favorite single barrel, and I'm, I'm so happy to be celebrating with both of you tonight. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you both so God, much. Thanks. And congratulations to you on 50 years. Yeah, and I think we'll see you here for 50 years, too. Yeah, yeah. Something tells me. Yeah. I'm not sure I'll make it another I will. Well, you may, too. Yeah, yeah.